the new feature on my channel which is um, tea time cooking sessions and these are the things that I'd like to share with you and cook with you but I can't cook them live as I usually do on my Facebook page so tonight I have totally cocked up our meal plan which is nothing fresh if you've been following me for a while I've completely just lost the plot so what I've got is chips on in um, the halogen so we're doing wedges in the halogen so that's that noise going on the oven is going on and you can hear that racket you may say well why did you put the chips in the oven because our oven is absolutely pants hence the noise and when I cook chips in there they never ever turn out right they always like go black at one end and not cooked at the other and you're forever spinning the trays around so chips are in the halogen because I know they'll do properly and what I'm cooking today is I'm going to make a basically KFC or southern fried chicken bites so we were supposed to be having wraps but I forgot to get the wraps ha! so what I've got is to make it easy um, this is a spice bag from Spice and Tice who I work with a lot I've worked with them for years they come on these little cards this is the Donna Kebab one the spice packet comes on the back you get all of the ingredients you need and the cooking instructions so this bag is off one of these cards and each bag makes enough for four people so as you can see what I did was tip some out ages ago and then put like a little bag clippy thing around it and popped it back in the cupboard for another day which is today so I'm using southern fried chicken um, spice blend I have also got um, some corn flakes because I'm using corn flakes for the crumb. Use breadcrumbs if you want or panko, but I'm using corn flakes. I think they work really, really well actually in something like this. And then I have some diced chicken. So let's get on and show you what we're going to do. So, as you will see, the diced chicken is in sort of inch bits cubed, and my southern fried chicken spices I have crunched into the cornflakes and as you'll see I haven't made these into a fine crumb I don't want them dust because I want them to stick and all I did was just crunch them through my hands like that so I've got some dust some big bits and then all I have done is take the spice shake it into the cornflakes and give it a good mix in so that is going to be my crumb and then I have just got an egg as you would have so I've just whisked the egg and all I'm going to do is dip my corn, my chicken in the egg in the crumbs and then I'm putting them into a baking tray this red stuff here it, it don't worry about the black bits that's fine but this is called Pan Pyramid. I bought it off eBay. You can get it off eBay or Amazon. And what it does is it lifts the, the product off the bottom of the tray and it allows the air to circulate so you get a nice crispy sort of, you know, um, whatever you're cooking on it turns nice and crispy. So that is Pan Pyramid, okay? And what I'm doing is I'm cooking it on this. So one hand, I've tried to learn this many times, keep one hand clean even if you've got to put it behind your back I always end up in a right state doing this so into my egg into my chicken and just you know get it coated the best you can there is 25 grams of um, corn flakes in here that's all I've used um, the sin value if you follow in Slimming World I'm not sure you'll have to look it up I did know it and I've forgotten it unfortunately just push it down gently into the cornflakes just to get them sort of moulded on and put them onto the tray like so. Now my oven is trying to heat to about 180 degrees. These will take about 20 minutes or so. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get on and do the rest of the chicken, pop them in the oven, have a look at my chips and when I get somewhere near I will come back and show you where we are okay so everything is cooked the chips are cooked the chickens cooked I've had a little taste it tastes absolutely amazing so let me show you I've plated up here we go so I've got my chips a third speed if you follow in Slimming World 
some barbecue sauce which is the skinny food company barbecue sauce i really do like this one and there is my portion of pop chicken and uh, that is it that is how easy it is if you've got a good oven which unfortunately i don't so there you go okay there you go i will post a picture again at the end of the video and have a great day guys bye